Microsoft Copilot, the AI tool from Microsoft, is now available to everyone, not only businesses. Now you want to know if the free version is just enough for your needs or if the pro version is worth it. In this video, I'll break down the difference between the two so you can make a clear decision. As I mentioned earlier, Copilot released in November 2023 and was only available to businesses asking $30 per user per month, but having a minimum requirement of 300 seats. That left small businesses behind and impossible for personal users just like me. Microsoft announced that they are now releasing Copilot to everyone. So there is a free version, but there is also a pro version, which costs 20 USD per dollar per month. It is subscription fee based and it is really powerful. Let me explain the difference between the free version and the paid version. First, both version has foundational capabilities. What does it mean? Do you know ChatGPT? Well, it's pretty much the same as the free version of ChatGPT, which means that you can ask him questions, create content, generate ideas, and everything that the free version of ChatGPT can do. One of the difference between ChatGPT and Copilot, and this is true for both the free and the paid version, is that its Copilot is web grounded. What does it mean? It means that it is a live AI. You might have encountered problem with ChatGPT where it had a cutoff, which means it had information only until let's say January 2022. With Copilot, you have access to the latest information on the internet. Businesses and individual users might be worried about data protection. Well, Microsoft gives for both the free and the paid version a commercial data protection. And what's the Microsoft promises about this? It means that it doesn't save any prompts or answer or question that you ask to Microsoft Copilot, so your data is completely safe. According to Microsoft, of course. <laughs> I want to show you a quick example of what we can do with Copilot. So I go on copilot.microsoft.com. I am in incognito mode here because I want to show you the free version of what you can do. As you can see, it is really similar to ChatGPT. So Copilot, your everyday AI companion, powered by Bing, the Microsoft search engine, right? So you can create anything, basically create a poem, write a poem with vivid imagery that doesn't rhyme, and Copilot, just like ChatGPT, will generate a poem. Something that is really cool with Copilot is that you can choose a conversation style. So you can have a creative discussion, a more balanced discussion, which is more informative and friendly, or a more precise discussion, which is a concise and straightforward chat. You know when you ask a question to ChatGPT and he goes crazy, then you don't have this problem if you choose the conversation style and there is one color assigned to each style so you know quickly in which style you are. This is a really nice feature. I signed in into Copilot and I wanted to show you a free feature. Even though it says Copilot Pro here, there are plugins available in the free version which can be really nice. There's one plugin that I want to highlight. As it says here, you can choose up to three plugins for a conversation. There is a plugin Suno and Suno is really cool. It's actually useful to create a song. So you can say, create a rap song that is inspired by Dr. Dre and Copilot will use the Suno plugin and just create you a song in literally few seconds. One huge difference between the free and the paid version is the version of the GPT, the technology behind what you type. Basically, I won't get too technical here, but let's say that the free version will be on 3.5 and the paid version will be GPT-4, which means more accurate, more memory, and more capabilities of analysis. In example, GPT-4 can analyze images and can give you answers based on images, which GPT-3.5 can do. Again, I won't get too technical, but it's just a better version. Of course, you pay for it, so it should be better. So this fourth bullet point on this infographic is what Microsoft means. During peak time, you'll have access to the latest version of the technology behind Microsoft Copilot. Okay, this is where it is really worth it for Microsoft Copilot Pro. It is to have Copilot in all your favorite Office 365 apps. Outlook, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, and Microsoft OneNote. You will have your personal assistant in every of these apps. 
just like Clippy. Do you remember Clippy? <laughs> It's like a V2 of Clippy, let's say it like that. I am in Microsoft Outlook right now. I just clicked on new mail. So I'm trying to write a new email. And at the top in the ribbon, I have a Copilot icon that appeared since I paid for the pro version. I click here and I can click on draft with Copilot or coaching by Copilot. Let's try draft with Copilot. They say, what do you want this email to say? I want to write an email to my mom to plan the family Christmas party. And then here, if you click, you have the different option. You can set the tone to direct, neutral, casual, formal, or make it a poem. Let's make it a poem for my mom, hey mom. You can also select the length, short, medium, or long. Let's make it a poem and let's see how it goes. I click on generate and here we go. Dear mom, I hope this email finds you well and that you're enjoying the snow. I'm writing you to plan a little, the family Christmas party, you know. Oh my God, it rhymes and everything. And then you can say anything you like to change, keep it, discard or regenerate. I have a very important presentation coming up for a client, which is a bank. I need to make a PowerPoint. I didn't start. It's due tomorrow. So here I go once again with my AI Copilot directly into PowerPoint. Look at the ribbon at the top. Copilot is here. I just click really quick and I want to create a presentation for my client, which is a bank. Create a presentation for a client that is a bank. I want the presentation to be colorful, has some jokes in it and keep it to five slides. Let's see what it gives me. It took Copilot roughly 20 seconds to make this presentation. This is crazy. Look at this. I have five slides already with some designs into it. Super great background and with some basic information. It basically made me a template for my presentation that is due tomorrow. And they say, here is a draft of your deck. If you'd like, I can help you rewrite slides or you can use a designer to adjust layouts. This is Microsoft OneNote where I personally love to take all my notes. So I have like multiple Word documents at the same place. I took some notes on how to do YouTube thumbnails and here it is right now. You can see my personal notes and I will use Copilot to see how they can help me to make notes. The subject here is YouTube thumbnail. So let's ask Copilot, can you summarize everything I need to know about how to make a very great YouTube thumbnail? In a matter of seconds, Copilot gave me five tips on how to make great thumbnail. I can just copy, open a note here and copy it down here. And here we go. I could draft a to-do, list the pros and cons. And that's the power of Microsoft Copilot in Microsoft OneNote. Now in Microsoft Word, once again, I have Copilot at the top. When I click on it, it opens the pane on the right. But as soon as I opened Microsoft Word, I had this that was floating in my screen, draft with Copilot. I can ask Copilot, I have have a presentation to make to a bank tomorrow. Could you tell me which are five biggest banks in Canada and in the United States and give me three facts about each of them? Let's generate. As you can see, Copilot is drafting all this text as we speak. The text is just literally appearing on my screen as I talk to you and it gives me the five biggest bank in Canada and in the United States as well. When I open Microsoft Excel, Copilot in the ribbon is grayed out and that's because I need to create data and set it as a table. So let's do it really quick. So I'm not crazy. I'm learning as we go. I just asked Word, can you give me the five biggest bank in the state? And it just gave me their revenues as well. So I basically copy pasted it here in my tables. And as you can see at the top, the Copilot ribbon is now clickable all of a sudden. Let's click on this and let's see what we can do. It says Copilot preview. I think it's not out like 100% yet for Microsoft Excel. And it gives me multiple options. When I click on the table, it says add formula columns, highlight, sort and filter or analyze. Let's add a formula column here. So it says add a column to compare FY24 and FY20. I just click on this and let's see the behavior of Copilot here. I'm guessing in column F, it's gonna add something. I don't know, it's the first time I'm using it. Oh, here's a suggestion here. It gives me the suggestion to put FY24 minus FY20, and I can just click on insert column, and it actually shows me a preview when I mouse over. If I click here, here we go, I have the function that has been typed in the column F. Let's try something else, show data insights. Let's click on that just for fun. 
I didn't find any relevant insights in your data. Try adding more data or use another data set. Of course, my data set is really bad right now, but it gives you an idea of the power of Microsoft Copilot in Microsoft Excel. For some obvious reason, Microsoft Copilot for personal users is not available in Microsoft Teams. Or do you talk with your family on Teams, like organize a Christmas party with your mom on Microsoft Teams? Well, maybe it could be useful, right? <laughs> I have more video on Microsoft Copilot right here. And if you want to learn more tricks, make sure you subscribe to this channel because Microsoft Copilot is the next big thing.